Hi, my name's Joe Miller, and since graduating with a Bachelor's in Economics and Economic History from the LSC in 2019, I've helped hundreds of students secure offers to the most competitive universities around the world. In this video, I'm going to share five quick tips on how to master your application to either LSE's Bachelor's in Economic History course or their Bachelor's in Economics and Economic History course. The first tip is know that this department is unique. LSE is the only university in Britain that has an economic history department. To be clear, this is not a division within an economics department, nor is it a division within a history department. In fact, this dates back to a long-standing debate between LSE and Cambridge in the 1930s between whether economic history should be a discipline in its own right. In LSE's view, it is, and you need to know that and know what they teach. The second tip is understand UCAS compatibility. Probably the most common question I have is, I want to apply to economic history at LSE, but should I apply to economics at other universities or history at other universities? The general rule is that economic history pairs well with history degrees. Economics and economic history at LSE pairs well with economics and history degrees elsewhere, like at Oxford. This is really important because in the UK, you submit one application through UCAS to five universities. The third tip is make sure that you stand out and you create an identity that is relevant to the course. I can't tell you how many times students have come to me with a personal statement idea and they tell me they want to study economic history because they're interested in the financial crisis of 2008. I suspect this is because it's a, a topic on the A-level syllabus for economics. It's simply not enough. Look at the economic history department at LSE. These are historians first. They are people researching 16th century guilds, the Industrial Revolution in the 1800s, and so on and so forth. I test all of my candidates to go back at least 50 years or more and find a real topic in economic history. Use the school calendar page on LSE's website to see exactly the type of topics that they teach you on this course. The fourth tip, and this is similar to the tips that I've given on other courses, but it's especially important here, is to master your supercurriculars. Unlike in more generic courses like economics and history, where there are lots of ways for you to show off your interest in the discipline, there are less when it comes to economic history. Therefore, it's super important that you do your readings, you attend a public lecture, maybe even enter an essay competition or complete an EPQ, but on a topic that is relevant to economic history, not just economics or history. The fifth and final tip is that there is no substitute for low grades. Just because LSE historically has a lower minimum entry requirement than, in, than its competitor universities, like Cambridge, Oxford or UCL, that doesn't mean that it's enough to secure you an offer. For example, the Economic History Bachelor's at LSE is three A's, but most students who get an offer have two or three A stars at A level. Therefore, don't become preoccupied with supercurriculars and your personal statement too much, and remember to smash your A levels or equivalent as well. It is very, very important. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you're interested in working with me or any of the admissions consultants here at the Profs, please get in touch via the descriptions below. If you like the video, please do like and, and subscribe. Please also leave comments and we will readily get back to you. Otherwise, good luck with your applications.